Welcome back. We are looking at uh, ETFs, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, April 29, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and that would be fairly appreciated. So we'll start by looking at the ARK Innovation ETF, and as you can see, we're down roughly half a percent today. So we're running into uh, quite a lot of resistance here at the 50 moving average. It has been a problem for the last three trading days, and we have tried to break above it, but have basically broken down. We're trading at 125, and we're also finding support down here at the 20 exponential at 123. So not a big range here, but uh, the 50 moving average looks like it's going to be uh, quite uh, a problem to get through at this current stage. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, the RSI is bearish, the CCI is becoming bearish, and the stochastic is bullish. So not a lot of help here. If you look at the bullish band, we can see that we are basically right in the middle of the top, in the middle of the bullish band. So we need basically a clear signal to break above the 50 moving average or a break towards the downside in order to see where this technically is going. So DVI. So DVI is up in 0.30%. Uh, 37% at this current stage. MACD is still bearish. The RSI is uh, fairly bullish. The CCI is bullish. And the stochastic is becoming bullish also as well. So we are approaching the top of the bullish band. Last time we were in there, we basically broke back uh, all the way down towards the middle. So this was a fall of roughly 1.65%. And uh, at this current stage, we are getting fairly overstretched. But we have been nearly trading sideways for the last three days. So... Uh, breakdown from here will most likely find support down at the middle of the bullish band, which is down 20 exponential moving average right here. And uh, we also have this channel moving in this direction, if you get it right there. So there is quite a lot of support underneath, and we are quite far away from the very highs here, which is this basically channel here. So we have basically just been trading fairly close to the 20 exponential moving average for the last, well, basically three weeks. So let's look at VTI. So VTI is uh, also uh, just trading sideways, not a lot of movement here. We're up to 0.10% at this current stage. We are approaching oversold conditions. MACD is basically flat. The CCI is bullish. The stochastic is bullish. So there's not a lot of room to the upside. This could break uh, towards the downside. If we do so, we'll most likely find quite a lot of resistance down here at 200 and. 13, um, and that's a drop of 1.78%. Uh, so we have seen a drop like that only a few um, a few days ago. And at this current stage, if we rally, then we'll probably go and target um, 220, 225. If we break down from here, then the 20 exponential at the 214 will mostly be our target. But pool banks have basically been uh, buying opportunity there's technically no reason to short this it's just a completely um uh, uh, none and uh, completely insanity to basically do to to short these most of these etfs is basically buying on the dips that has basically been uh, what people have been doing for a really long time as this has basically been in an uptrend so let's look at mchi so MCHI is uh, rallying a little bit today, and uh, we got fairly close to the 50 moving average, and then we basically gave all of those uh, gains back. We're up uh, 0. Point, uh, or roughly half a percent. MACD is looking much better. We're approaching uh, bullish territory, so we could have a break above uh, the 50 moving average in the next few trading days. We're getting fairly overstretched here, but uh, still, there's a lot of room to the upside. We have an RSI only at the 58 at this current stage. And uh, it is fairly flat. So CCI is bullish, uh, the stochastic is bullish, and uh, we are approaching overstretched conditions here in the bullish band. So we could see a pullback before going higher, but it looks like we are slowly grinding to the high upside and are probably going to break uh, through the 50 moving average within the next few trading days. If we were to break to the downside, then the 50, 200 moving average down here at 80 would offer significant support. So IBV. So IVV uh, is up 0.23% uh, at this point. We are getting fairly close to the top of the bullish band, but really the last three trading days, nothing has really happened here. 
Uh, we could break to the downside. We could break to the upside. There's a lot of support above. We have this upper trend line. We also have the top of the bullish band, and we'll also be in overbought conditions if we rally significantly from here. Even though technical indicators are all favoring the upside, as they're all very bullish at this current stage. But a pullback from here could offer major support down here at the 413. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to join us over at eToro. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.